My name's John Clayton, I'm a personal trainer, and for the last three years I've been running Kettler Size here at Clifton College Sports Centre. Kettler Size is a one hour non-stop workout using one, sometimes even two, of these. It doesn't matter what your age is or what fitness level you're at. I don't believe that there's anything else out there that can burn as many calories or change your body shape like Kettler Size can. Over the next 12 weeks, I'm going to be doing everything I can to change these three people's lives forever. Kirsty Fluke, she's 18 years old, 4 foot 11 and 155 pounds. I want to like be fit, I want to, you know, look like my friends, I want to, I want to just change my whole lifestyle. Jeremy Flynn, he's 30, 5 foot 10 and weighs in at 228 pounds. It's always been up and down but it's kind of steadily declining each time in a down and I think if I, if I don't get a sort of a foothold soon then I'm just going to be one of those old massive boys, I don't want that. <laughs> Dave Sedgwick, 29 years old, 6 foot 2, 191 pounds. I wouldn't say I'm overweight or anything, but just enough to kind of notice it and like go, actually, this is probably the biggest I've ever been and it's just not that great. I've calculated safe weight loss targets for them each to meet with throughout the course of the programme. They have each been given a diet which removes all junk food, sweets and alcohol from their lifestyles. Over the next 12 weeks, they will work out with me for four sessions every week and once by themselves. That's three Kettler size classes, one personal training session and one hour of cardio designed for maximum body transformation. Every passing second is another chance to turn it all around. Fitness is a lifestyle, not a destination. It's my job to get them back on track, lean, fit and healthy with a positive mental attitude. I've never been athletic or sporty, classic bad at PE kind of kid, um, but never like massively out of shape, like just not never in good shape, if that makes sense. But no, I've always been into sport, just not particularly good at it, and then just consistently worse as I get older and out of shape, and it sort of makes it even harder. I used to do lots of sports, swimming, tennis, um, netball, and lots of clubs, really, really good, and I was really good, and I was really fit and healthy. And then in year eight, I just stopped. Um, I, my focus was on other things, like choir and things. And then um, that's just when I started putting on weight and then I could never get back into it. I've been pretty sporty all throughout my, like, you know, my life. Um, and then I had that six months off just through injury. Um, I had tendonitis in my right knee. Um, had a lot of physio on it. Um, put on not a considerable amount of weight but nearly touching 14 stone it's the heaviest I've ever been you know like my girlfriend said when I first met you you were in much better shape which you know that that's motivation in, in itself like all my friends were like really like fit and healthy and then I wasn't it was kind of like quite sad because I felt I couldn't do certain things that they could do and um, I wanted to go out of them but I thought I wouldn't have a good time it's just stupid things like you know, there's loads of stag dudes at the moment and normally some of them involve some sort of sport because that's what we're all into and we have a game of football or whatever and, you know, a game of cricket and it'd be nice to not just be going, oh, do that for a minute, but I know that I'm going to be blowing and that I'm going to not be able to get involved as much or it's just a bit, a bit depressing really. <laughs> 12 weeks I want to have made like a really good starting point like a really good I want to make no I want to have made a big difference but also sort of have enough to take forward with me and not be like right 12 weeks well done wasn't that an, an endurance like give yourself a pat on the back you probably take a, the summer off and you know get into your old habits again I definitely said to my mum and dad that when I finish I want to go back and do tennis and I, I really want to get good at it again and 
like go into competitions and things and see how far I get. One of the main reasons, obviously, uh, of doing it for me personally is um, try and get a set of abs um, and say at least once in my lifetime, hopefully before my 30th birthday, um, that I had a had a decent set of abs hiding under the shirt. But yeah, ultimately, it's a lifestyle change. It's for the long term, not the short term. I'm going to be a different person completely. I'm going to really go out life and do all the things I missed out on. And the class is uh, brilliant. Everyone, everyone loves it. You know, everyone's getting into it, and he's, you know, gets you really like fired up for it. And to get me up for it as well is quite the quite the ask. We have like a 15 minute warm up and then that warm up is the worst thing ever and um, he says like 15 minutes later okay we're gonna start in five minutes I'm thinking what do you mean start? <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever done. The ones with the kettlebell are actually they're the ones that I find all right weirdly you know they're hard but they're achievable the ones I really struggle with are any of the ones any of the ones where you're essentially at some point in the press up position you know I've got a bad combination of low upper body strength and being heavy and, oh the planking as well it's such a horrible feeling <laughs> it's like when I do it and I go oh this isn't too bad and then he goes no 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 like lower and like this and your feet there and then you go oh that that feels horrible and then he and then he's just they go hold it hold it and you're like oh Oh, yeah, it can't. Your whole body just feels like it just wants to not be doing that anymore. It's so difficult, and everyone laughs. Like, my housemates are, are buggers for laughing at me, going, Oh, kettles, it's like cheerleading, you know, what you're on about, doing kettles like this. Um, and then Adam came along and agreed with me and said how tough it was. I'm feeling pretty rough, to be honest. My legs are killing me. Um, John's helping me all the way, but. I've had my few emotional breakdowns during this week. So it's 6.15 in the morning on day three of the Kettle Size 12 week challenge. Just got out of bed, <coughs> can barely stretch my legs or even sit down and put my socks on. Um, got my first PT session at 7 a.m. I've got no food for breakfast, so it would just have to be a protein shake. Um, I don't really know what I'll sign myself up for. He's great. He's great at what he does. You know, he is. You know, he is motivated. He is, uh, you know, he's he's a force, and he's he's hard on you as well. You know, he doesn't pull any punches, which you need really well. I need definitely. Just keep going. Your Thirty seconds. Nothing. It's not as hard as some trainers, and he's really personable, and you don't want to let him down because it's all too easy just to hold back and go. Well, you know, I know cancel the training session or not go to kettles this week but really you know once you're there he gets you revved up and you just you do want to just smash it for an hour he pushes me a lot and sometimes i don't want to be pushed that much but i know he's doing it for the best um he won't let me stop he won't let me give in 17 18, two more. Every time you stop and have a break, you think, oh, he's not going to be looking. And he's right there. Well, you, know, you won't even know it. He's just there going, come on, Davo, you can do this. Or like, do another 20 seconds with me or something. And it's really useful because that's the point in time where you're going, oh, you know, I can have a little break. The one, the one that annoys me the most is when he says, um, so I'll be doing something and I think that I can't do any of them. So it'll be late on and there'll be some sort of burpee or something and he says come on just do 10. Right, ten. Come on, ten's the magic number. He needs to start aiming lower, like just do five, just do two. On the Wednesday morning I couldn't get out of bed. I was aching so much and I couldn't sleep all night. 
us is in so much pain. It's a constant, I can't, I won't, I'm not. Mm. And at the end of week one, she almost had... She wanted to quit. Yeah, like a meltdown. I went to the pub with my brother and he said to me, Kirsty, you can't give in. He said, this is what you do, you just give in all the time. And at the end of the day, she had to think about it very carefully. And she did. And then she had to push herself even that one step further just to go back the next day, which is extremely hard for her. Yeah, but it was her decision to go back. It wasn't ours. Yeah. And then he said, give it one more week. Next week, if you don't want to do it, then give in. And this week, I don't want to give in. I've had an amazing week. Welcome, boys and girls. This is where it's all going to change. We're going to bring in something called Black Wednesday. I'm really, really sick of chicken and fish and vegetables. Fluffy yeah. What the f***? Right? To be honest with you, it makes you feel like just, just chucking it in. Okay, Davo. So this week we wanted you to lose two pounds. All right, so we're going for 13 stone, seven pounds. Okay, off you go. Wow, he's lost eight pounds in a week. We had our weigh-in last night after the advanced session, um, which was uh, surprising um, as I managed to lose eight pounds. Uh, my target was two pounds. Um, so massively chuffed with that. Jezza, your next mate. Again, this is just the first week, all right? And it's not just about weight. So you weighed, mate, on the 26th, so a week ago today, 16 stone four, okay? So we want you to be 16 stone one pound today, okay? Off you go. Awesome. So you're 16 stone, so you've lost four pounds. So nice. that's perfect, nice. you lost one more pound than you were supposed to. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well done. So, four pounds off, which I'm pleased with. Obviously, we had Dave's big eight pounder, which was like, whoa, and amazing for him. Like, really, really pleased for him. But, like, yeah, it sort of made you go after it's like four pounds off, and you're like, ah. Oh. It seems like at the time it was like, that's not as good. <laughs> and because I've got loads more to lose than him as well. So, it's like, ah, oh, it's sort of, yeah. Okay, Chris. You are 11 stone, one pound. Yes. We want you to lose three pounds this week. Okay. So, Chris, well done. You've lost one pound. Right. Well done. So, our first weigh-in was this week, um, today, and um, I lost one pound. Uh, not a lot, but it's something, and, you know... That's more than last week, so that's really good. I've got no real secret. I don't, I, you know, just did the exercise, stuck to uh, the meal plan, um, and yeah, it just it pretty much fell off. Okay, so Kirsty, Dave, and Jeremy. So, what I want you to do is I want you to read through that, okay? Um, it's all pretty simple stuff. It plans your food out for you. It tells you what to buy and plan your meals out, okay? It is gonna take some effort. I tell you what, no word of a lie, I would say the nutrition side of it is just as tough, if not tougher, than the actual classes. Personally, when, when I did this, I cleared my social calendar, totally, of lunches, dinners with friends, evenings out, just because personally, I struggle with the, you know, with the temptation side of it. You all right? Yeah? Just don't look so worried, mate. It's gonna be fine. All right, I'm here. Right. Generally, in the week, I eat pretty healthily. Like, you know, I know what to give. Like, I, obviously I have the bad, the bad moments of, of like fast food and especially working in an office when you're just sat on your ass all day. I can see everyone else eating like chocolate and things and I'm like, I can't eat that. And especially in work, like every Friday, um, a member of staff brings in treats for everyone and I'm like, can't have any. Lots and lots of sweets and chocolate. I can't have. I'm just gonna leave because I can't go. Once you get over the cravings, if 
if you snack on some I don't know, celery or cucumber sticks it, it does the job and like as John said it's like more often than not just you want it, your body saying you're thirsty as opposed to you being hungry Monday to Thursday no sweat like good as gold you know nice healthy breakfast salad at work no sweat you know but the weekend is like I went away for the weekend for a birthday and I had a couple of roast dinners with dough from potatoes the works and you know I put on three pounds that week so it, it, you know it goes to show um, which is a real shame but sometimes it's difficult just to say no I can drink a bit and you know pints and then you're going on to the kebab shop at two o'clock in the morning and then that's you know if you think about like what you've done in a night if you were to break it down it's you know it's insane really she liked her cakes and the bread and the cheese and so it's it was really difficult just to um go from all that down to all this healthy yeah the steaming of the veg and, and the salads but you've done that with it haven't you but i just to encourage you i made a promise to Kirsty. i said for for the 12 weeks i'm going to do it because i'm going to eat the salad the same as Kirsty to help her along and I have I've actually found it better Unfortunately, myself too. I, haven't, I haven't done that <laughs> diet wise generally um, just lean meats chickens uh, a lot of fish a lot of salmon and stuff um, and just steamed vegetables is pretty much what I live off now I'm really really sick of chicken and fish and vegetables but I have to keep eating it there's a lot more planning I'd say um, each week I'm actually thinking about what I'm going to be eating for the next week rather than just going around in the supermarket aimlessly and picking up stuff which I fancy eating which normally involve, used to involve uh, bad stuff so now it's actually the night before preparing like a, a salad and it only takes five minutes so it's not too bad and uh, yeah well obviously it's beneficial uh, not just on the body but also on the bank account Welcome boys and girls, this is where it's all going to change. We're going to bring in something called Black Wednesday. It's so important from this point on you hit your goals. If you miss your weight on the Monday, you've got to come back on a Wednesday and do two workouts instead of one, okay? We don't miss weight anymore. This is it. Alright, crunch time. We've been introduced to the new system of Black Wednesday. Dun dun dun. Um, if we don't reach our weight target on a Monday then we have to do two sessions instead of one. We have to go to the morning session on uh, Wednesday as standard and then as punishment uh, so to speak for not making our weight um, we have to go to advanced class on a Wednesday night as well. Trying to think about it positively rather than a punishment because uh, if I think of it like that then I get all muddy. We'll see what happens next week with the weigh-in uh, I'm curious to know how that panned out because I wasn't very well and I missed a session. Fingers crossed um, we make the weight. Um, as seeing John twice in a day might be a bit too much. To get through a week of like, you know, waters in the pub and, you know, good food, like three meals a day, like, you know, turning down, turning down nice things and, you know, busting your balls in kettlebell class, like, to not lose would be a real, oh man, it would really stink. I'd be upset. Right, Kirsty. So your goal was two pounds this week, okay? So you need to hit 10 stone, seven pounds this week, okay? You've got to do it. You don't do it, we're back twice tomorrow. Okay, hop on. Boom. Ten stone, seven pounds. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No double work. Well Have you ever seen a smile on that thing? <laughs> so well done, Kirst. Hit your goal again. I was so chuffed. I was like, yes, finally, something worked. So I'm really, really happy about that. And bring on the week. I'm excited. I'm ready. Let's do it. Right, okay, mate. So you were 12 stone 10 pounds last week, okay? You need to lose a pound, so you need to be 12 stone 9 pounds, or you're doing two tomorrow. 12 stone 8 pounds. Wow. Results are in. Um, I lost another two pounds in the last week, which is great. So that takes me over a stone in total lost um, in the process so far. So I was super chuffed about that. 
Jez, you need to lose three pounds, mate. You're 15 stone 11. You need to hit 15 stone 8. Okay, I'll you back tomorrow for two. Off you go. Oh, f What the f man? 15 Sorry. stone 11. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't lost anything. Okay, what are we going to do? Obviously, I didn't make any numbers this week, so yeah, I'll be back for an extra, an extra session, uh, which is pretty frustrating because, as you can probably see, I don't think it's you know lack of effort in here. To be honest with you, it makes you feel like just just chucking it in. I know that isn't the answer, and I'm not going to do that. But you know, if I knew deep down that you know the weekend I was eating badly or boozing or something, then I thought you know. At least that would be, <laughs> there'd be an answer, and I'd be having some enjoyment. Um, but there's, there's no answer. I think that's the most frustrating thing at the moment. Your fitness is improving, you're getting fitter, you're getting stronger. I can see your muscular endurance is improving. I mean, press ups, I mean, you're banging those out now. Yeah. You know, just keep going. All right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty right. It's just in your head. It's just completely mind over matter. Stop thinking I can't do it, because you can. <laughs> Told a little fib to you guys today. I overthink everything too much. You can do it if you really want it.